Okay, I just thought of this uh, a little bit ago. And I wanted to write it down and then I figured, well, heck, before the old lady wakes up and the, gets out and about, I might as well just put it on video for the heck of it. Okay, so, uh, you know how, how cool it is that things converge to, to give the whole aspect that you, you know God has a hand in stuff. Um, very cool stuff in, in this world. Well, a long time ago, I was in the army and I hardly had any time with the family. So, every now and then, we would check out the, the pound just as the heck of it as we drove by. And one day there was a whole bunch of of bulldogs in there. So I ended up getting a, a little three week old puppy. And uh, army time, and you know, I was in the army then, but fast forward to being a civilian, and I meet this guy that knows a lot about bulldogs. And uh, my wife knows his old lady, so we end up meeting at a birthday party. Well, fast forward a bit longer, maybe a year or two down the line, and I go over there one time, and when he'd get off work, we'd, uh, you know, because I had the art studio right nearby, like a block from his place, every now and then, I'd go over and say, hey, and when he was off work, he'd have a little bottle of uh, one of these McCormick's whiskey, and it's supposed to be, I mean, it's like the cheap whiskey, but it's really, really good whiskey, and, uh, you know, we'd sip and bullshit around, mostly talking about bulldogs and stuff, Well, one day, go over there, and uh, him and this one guy are sipping off the little bottle and I take a sip and I'm like, hey, what are you guys up to? Or what's up or whatever I said. And the one guy was like, uh, or maybe it was Rick that said, uh, oh, we're talking about bayonets. Like an odd subject to bring up, bayonets. But uh, I said, I hate bayonets. And he's like, why? I said, dude, one time we got stuck going to some other company for a, a change of command or some such. And uh, we had fixed bayonets. And the guy right in front of me passed out. And he went straight forward when he passed out. And his bayonet sliced straight underneath this guy's armpit. And, uh, well, I gave them aid and then off they went and that was that, you know, never saw them again, never heard anything. That's the way it kind of was in the, in the army. And, uh, and this guy that I had never seen a day in my life sitting there with Rick when I got over there says his company's name, you know, like for instance, like mine was. Charlie Company or Alpha Company or whatever. He said what his company was, like Charlie 112 or some such, but it wasn't, that was us. And uh, and he lifts up his sleeve and the scar runs from his armpit all the way to his elbow. And he's like, that was me. He goes, we had a whole bunch of guys that were gone, so we had a change of command and needed to fill in to make it look like we had a full company and this and that. Yeah, that was him. What a trip. If it wasn't for like a whole bunch of different circumstances to fall exactly into line, little things like that would never happen. The odds are too much against it. Well, I'll continue on painting on my own. I just 
Thought that was a cool little story. I'll talk to y'all later.